nice to have your company this morning. Type 1 diabetes is a disease that impacts more than 100,000 Aussies across the country. Now, Ali and I both have family members who live with it and know their struggles all too well. But now, one of our very own colleagues, James Bracey, is going through a shock diagnosis of his own. His three-year-old daughter, Matilda, recently confirmed to have the condition. And James, his wife Margot and little Matilda join us now along with Abby, who's seven months. Morning, nice guys. to see you guys. guys. Nice to see you. Hey, just talk us through this one, how you found out that little Matilda had type 1 diabetes. Well, she was, um, she was showing a few symptoms. So she was um, really thirsty, really tired. She was urinating a lot more than usual. Um, and she lost weight really quickly. And she was, um, yeah, we went to New Zealand to see my mum and my mum's a nurse and I probably wouldn't have noticed the symptoms because... <laughs> what do they say about kids? Yeah. <laughs> she takes after her daddy. Oh, she's yeah. taken <laughs> Can find a camera. But we were so lucky. Like, Margot's mum, being a nurse, picked up on all the signs and when you guys got back from New Zealand, I was back here working, go to the GP. So any history of... of, of nothing. nothing. None. And we were so naive to it. That's the yeah. thing. Like, you, we just had... We are like, diabetes, symptoms. No, surely yeah. not. You know, yeah. it's, we just assumed there had to be fam deep family history on it. And w once the doctor did the finger prick of the blood, just looked up at me and just said, get her to emergency. Wow. Go. And what's that moment like when you know that this is something you're going to be, she's going to be dealing with for the rest of her life? Yeah. That's the, I mean, I, when I talk to people about it, I say a broken arm's one thing, you know. It's four, four to six weeks and you're out of the cast and you're back. But when we're sitting there in the hospital and they're, they're talking us through, the, and you can see the seriousness in the eyes of the doctors and the specialists, the reality of what mm. Matilda's facing, what we as a family mm. are now facing. Margot was two months off having little Abby here as well, so we were already sort of in the trenches. Um, and then to, to know that it was a life of, of checking blood glucose levels and, and, and putting insulin in her body to keep her alive, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, um, and look, uh, you know, I have a friend, Al, who, who's, who's, who has the record on his phone. Yep. Um, whenever we're out for dinner or whatever, he'll be tracking his daughter's levels through the course. It'll be a bit, it's, so it's a huge commitment. What was it like for you, Margo? Yeah, I mean, it was a real shock. Yeah. I um, definitely wasn't expecting it. I did. I was in denial um, for a long time about it, and I think it's only I'm only really starting to understand it properly. It's it's a really hard thing to understand. Yeah. Um, and we we're tracking her levels all the time yeah. on the phone. I mean, same thing out at dinner. We've got the app open the whole time with her levels. Yeah, birthday so, parties are a nightmare. Um, birthday parties. Yeah. yeah. Things yeah. like that. We, I mean, to yeah. like toddlers. Well, she was two when she was diagnosed. <laughs> Baby shark. Do you know that one, Matilda? Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. You're a bit more of a frozen girl these days. Let oh, it go. Yeah. Oh, now she's shy. Hey. <laughs> Look what Uncle Carl's Uncle done. Carl. <laughs> hey, Matilda, <laughs> you've got some pretty cool senses, don't mm. you? Can you show me? Yeah. What have you got here? What yep. is oh, oh, now what's, yeah, what's that? Wow, a me pod. That's right. That's that your Omnipod. That is a big word that you know. What does that do? Do you know? Your Omnipod? Sensor. Yeah, that's your sensor. That's your sensor. And so that one, that one checks your le le levels. So that's right. And this one's with the insulin at the moment. So, I mean, this is something where uh, you're, you're learning on the run. We're educating ourselves yeah. on the run. We've got great people around yeah. us. Yeah. But it's, you know, there's a big thing. Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation do great work. Yeah. Um, mm. And, look, there's a big push at the moment, access for all, when it comes to the devices, which we're pushing really hard for. And, and what do you want? What do you want? So Matilda at the moment, at the moment is on the Omnipod. Yeah. But it's something that's not accessible to everyone because it costs a lot of yeah. money. Yeah. And you can be on other pumps under your health fund and, and get assistance there. The NDSS. <laughs> scheme covers a bit but could cover more. Yes. The government's done great work. There's a lot of subsidisation out there for specific devices, whether they're sensors or the pumps. And as you guys would know, a lot of options out there, but they're so crucial to making sure she lives a healthy life. So. Uh, and, 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 and that is critical, isn't it? I mean, you know, I mean, I go back to when my sister was diagnosed when she was 11 and, and the, the things have changed so much more now. Yep. Like, it's so much... It's easier now. Yeah. Um, but still, there's, you know, there's, there's a lot that you guys need to deal with and you need all the help you can get, don't you? So what are you asking the government for? Oh, I, guess, I guess more access for... I mean, there's people... When, when she turns 18 or 21... Mm. You lose the funding. You lose a lot of the access to it, and you're that on needs your to own. Continue. And that, yeah, yeah, that just it, it, it doesn't really make sense that you're sort of discriminated yeah. by age and that that sort of thing. When, you know, when you're born, and um, you, know, we, you don't choose this. This can happen to any yeah. of us at, at any time.
I think that there are some good, um, you know, some, some good organisations around who are trying to make waves to make that happen as well. Yeah. So, um, what you're trying to do here in terms of awareness is crucial in that and getting that funding. Um, and, and look, uh, we're going to do everything we can to try and prosecute that as well. I um, appreciate your time today. Um, thanks for coming in. It would have been a big deal, baby. You were well, mate. Baby, shocked it, did it, did it, baby, shocked it, did it, baby, shocked it, did it, did it, baby, shocked. Oh, daddy, shocked it, did it, did it, daddy, shocked it, did it, daddy, shocked it, Uncle Carl, Uncle Carl, did it, Uncle Carl. Sorry, Margot. James is used to me. Yeah. <laughs> Matilda's a really good judge of character, though. It's, it's <laughs> I said we had to worry about kids and TV. We've got to worry about Uncle Carl. Yeah, thank you. Which is that sounded really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Good stuff, guys, and thanks, thanks, thanks for having us. Really appreciate it.